today's video is sponsored by my friends over at glycesusa.com and they have sent me a pair of frames that I'm going to try and style for this video. If you haven't already heard of glycesusa.com, they offer an online catalog with no less than 9,000 different prescription glasses and sunglasses and they start as low as $30 for a pair of prescription glasses. They have their own in-store brands as well as the classics such as Prada, Ray-Ban and Gucci. So if you're like me and you like to have a pair of glasses to match different types of outfits, then jump over and have a look. Also, if you just need a new pair of everyday glasses, there are so much to find on glassesusa.com. done this is what I'm wearing this today I decided to go green wearing a vintage green frill jacket that is the perfect color match to the glasses I'm wearing a vest on top to break the green color scheme and add something else a black warm blouse underneath a green thrifted belt vintage trousers so it's actually an all vintage thrifted outfit and then the super cool green glasses that I'm going to put a link down below to. I'm also going to put a link down below to glassesyoussay.com. So thank you so much for sponsoring my video and let's go thrifting. Oh, the sun just came out to say hi for a bit. Feels amazing. Today's thrift trip is going to be in the city center. So pretty close to where I live. Since Celine, my old car, is still making some weird noises. I have contacted my mechanic and he's going to have a look at her on Friday. I'm a little bit nervous to find out like what's going on. But therefore, we're going to stay in the city center today. See if they have some goodies for us to grab. I'm going to mainly look for bits for my cabin. I wrote down a bunch of things last time I was there that I would love to find. So let's go thrifting and see if we can find some bohemian home decor, vintage gems. Let's go. Oh, I need my seat belt. <laughs> Kieran's call set got to be the first thrift shop of the day and I always check the windows here because they tend to put the best bits in the window but there weren't anything really cool today despite this jacket that was pretty. I hadn't been in the boutique for more than a few seconds when I saw this shelf that I quite liked and also I saw this amazing old chair and you will see that this is going to be a theme throughout this video. I do like chairs. They were a pretty square gold mirror, but I do have about 20 mirrors in my apartment. I liked this tea set. It's gorgeous and simple. And then I was looking for glass because I'd actually like to have some more like vintage glasses in my apartment. I do still have ones, some from when I first moved out of my childhood home that are from IKEA and I just think they could be upgraded at some point. I saw this one that I thought was vintage looking beautiful and I quite liked this and I think if it hadn't been red in the glass and another color instead I think I would have bought it. It would have been amazing for rings. I saw this one that was cute but didn't really know what to use it for and I always look at these baskets. I actually think it would be good to get some more for the cabin but it can wait until spring and then I was looking through the paintings I always do that I love old paintings and I found this one that one guys and it has history and I'm gonna explain it to you guys later what it's all about I'm done in the first thrift shop and based on what I've bought it looks like I'm shopping for flowers but it looks beautiful so here is a peek on what I've got already. This jacket is amazing. I'm gonna show you everything when we are done for the day. 
two thrift shop number two is also close to the first one um so let's see then i made it to the second thrift shop of the day and it's also a thrift shop where i always check the window displays before i walk in i started out looking at some jackets and i quite like this one definitely vintage beautiful and they always have bridal dresses in here i thought this one was super pretty and then i found this chair guys red velvet but it said not for sale <laughs> i was looking through the furniture department i saw this chair that i can't figure out if it's old or like newly made it was a weird leather material and i don't like the color scheme either i was just curious where when it's from and then i saw this pillow perfectly romantic for the cabin and I was looking through the paintings and I found this one that's super simple but it's in a nice frame. I think it would look lovely in the cabin or maybe at home and it costs pretty much nothing. And then I saw this tea set. I think it's so pretty. If I hadn't already bought quite a lot of things for the cabin, this could have been a thing to buy. And I still kind of regret I did do it. They were so sweet in there. I saw the chair. I need to stop myself now. I have way too many chairs in my apartment. And you'll see that at the end of this video. But they were so kind in there. One, as soon as I was like, why is this chair not for sale? Um, would it be possible that I could buy it? They were just like instantly trying to find a price for it. Um, <laughs> while they were trying to find a price for the chair, one of the workers there she was like i recognize you you are the one with the boutique in ulenster on Sunner boulevard and i just thought that was so impressive because i was wearing like a massive face mask so you could barely see my face and then the other one was like oh i also follow that boutique on instagram and she was like oh i couldn't recognize you with the mask and everything so it was just they were so sweet and they complimented the boutique a lot and like, yeah, they were just so kind. I got the chair at a fair price. Really happy with it. So I think we should drop by maybe the last boutique of the day. But where do I want to go? I need to think. I thought I'd give this thrift shop another chance because I've only been here once and it was on the opening day where it was filled with people and pretty empty. So I wanted to go back today and see if it was going to be the same. So I walked in and saw this velvet blouse, quite pretty but in a very simple cut. In here they have color coordinated everything, so cream colors and brown colors has been hung up together in dark tones and you know yada yada. So it's pretty easy to find kind of like what you are into when it comes to color schemes. I quite loved this jacket. And then I found an amazing 70s cotton dress. I was so, so amazed by this one, guys. It kind of just made the whole trip worth it. This is just like grace. So I didn't make the video black and white. It's just the black and white zone. And another amazing tea set. It's super duper quiet in here. There are basically no people. And it's just like a massive boutique, so that's really extreme, but it's nice, <laughs> it's really nice. done thrift shopping for today and I bought this amazing chandelier these are usually like four times this price when they're sold on Facebook marketplace so when I found this I was like what so I'm gonna go my surprise my boyfriend with it now and uh, yeah that was the last boutique of the day because to be completely honest and transparent I got my period today and I have 
such a like back pain that I can't walk around anymore now like my body is, is so exhausted I also got my third um, vaccination yesterday so I think some of it could also be from that but I also just got my period today so I'm just all in all a little bit challenged <laughs> but it has been lovely I found some amazing things I'm gonna show you but now I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's and surprise him can't wait to see his face <laughs> we talk about chandeliers all the time he is just like me when it comes to those so this is gonna be so much fun i was debating with myself whether i should take it myself or not but i just really want to see his happy face when i surprise him so let's go and i need something to drink badly Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm feeling so much better. Not great, but definitely better. But I am just so excited to show you what I found yesterday that we can definitely handle. I want to start out with my chair because I'm really happy I bought this chair. I think it's so beautiful dark red velvet. It's in really good condition and it's like super simple and yet just so romantic and beautiful this being said it is about time that I stop myself and if you're thinking it isn't that bad just wait a second another amazing velvet chair this one in gold absolutely stunning I also bought this that I should probably show you in a second but yeah I bought this the day I got the booster so Sunday absolutely stunning and I'm gonna make it even worse because on the 24th the day where you are not supposed to get yourself presents I bought myself this chair so pretty it's kind of similar to the other one velvet beautiful colors it's an amazing condition and then it has frills at the bottom a very like delicate small romantic I love it I love this one so much so there's not just one but three reasons why I have to stop myself I do not need another chair <laughs> but I think I'm just going to move away so that you can see them I think they're just all like so pretty I'm going to let them stay in here for this haul <laughs> as the background on the day I bought the chair in the middle I got this mirror and I bought it off of Facebook marketplace so it looks rather vintage but it's definitely not it's like plastic weighs nothing so I think I'm gonna hang it up over there among all of my other vintage mirrors and then I also bought this and the funny story behind this is actually it's not really a long story but the people who run this retro boutique they um i used to work for them in genpos and if you've been watching for a long time i worked in a retro shop and hannah said that when she got this in she was thinking of me so when i came by by sunday i was like whoa so i bought this i'm not really sure what it is for it says that it's a tablecloth but i don't really think that's true based on like the layers it has the top layer and then it has a layer on the other side so it's like a, a weird like tablecloth if, it, if it's two layered i've never really felt that before so i thought it would be something pretty to put over your bed or over them the back of your sofa or something like that but it's so pretty and it's round then I found this one yesterday and I think I'm going to use it in my cabin. I'm not really sure if I'm going to put it into the kitchen or in the living room yet. But I think it's really lovely and it has like several shelves and these down here, these hooks. So you can hang some something, something from it. Oh my god, I can't speak. Sunday I also found this embroidered picture. This is exactly what I'm looking for for the cabin. 
I have told you guys already that I would like to do like a mix of small embroidered pictures such as this one in my living room above my bed and this one is just perfect and it was cheap so I got that I also bought another pillow this one simple romantic beautiful I bought this small retro wall hanger I thought it would be cute to put up somewhere in the cabin too in a mix I don't know maybe mixed with these we'll see I only still have two things and then I bought two pictures yesterday I found this one and it was seriously just what did I pay for it I paid 25 Danish kroner for this one that's about four and a half dollar five dollars somebody painted this and I bought it for five dollars and then I bought this painting that I feel like I have a history with because I already have two paintings with sunflowers on them that are from the same artist so when I saw that this was an ebook painting I just felt like it belonged in my apartment or like in my home I felt like I'm, it just belongs with me so this is the painting I think it's really lovely it's very simple but really cute I actually like the style of it last of all I bought four clothing items first of all I got a belt a white belt that I can use around my waist I'm gonna try it on in a second because I think I'm gonna use it on top of this amazing dress look at that color and here too it's a mix of ribbon and this amazing pattern that's also inside and it's super long it's a maxi dress and we're gonna try that on in a second I just also want to show you that I found two brocade brocade jackets one of my favorite things at the minute I found this one that's brown with flowers you can by the way expect some brocade designs from me in 2022 we're gonna try that on and then I also got this one that's super light and unfortunately I've already tried it on I can say it's too too big for me so if any of you are interested in this pop me a message on Instagram it's so beautiful I think that is super beautiful like very simple cut but it's lovely we try it let's try it with the belt oh I hate when it does this like we need a loop I need to find a solution for that because other than that I think this is really cute and now I'm just going to pop this jacket on top as you can see this is too big for me I'm just going to try to figure out what size it is but it's really cool I like the fabric so it's a shame I could possibly wear it if I styled it with a belt on top like that but still the shoulders so it's probably gonna work better on the right size and now to the other one no what happened it just broke it made me happy for about two minutes <laughs> that's so not okay and this is the last piece it looks cooler like open but this is so beautiful that was everything I bought this time around I think I got some really amazing pieces I cannot pick a favorite among my children but I think you should pick my favorite child <laughs> what I would love to hear in the comments down below your favorite item from the pieces I found this time around. And thanks again so much to GlassShoeSay.com for sponsoring this video. I love these glasses. They might be my new favorites. I think they look so cool on. We'll definitely look into getting more frames in colors. 
so i'm gonna leave a link to their website down below head over to have a look at their massive catalog of glasses so yeah thank you all so much for watching leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video gonna see you all very soon bye